Hello everyone, so this is a quick reading update. As you can see, I am reading Scarlet. I'm actually only on chapter 5, but I'm already pretty hooked. I think I might even be hooked faster than I was with Cinder, and I really like Cinder. But I'm just really liking this character. Uh, she seems very assertive and cares about her grandmother a lot. And you know how I am with the whole family thing and characters. And there seems to be a little bit of mystery going on. So yeah, I'm just really liking this and I'm still just at the beginning. Um, obviously there's a lot to go. This is a big book. I have no access to audio, which kind of sucks because that's been helping me with some bigger books lately with my schedule, but oh well. I will definitely make time for this one. And I am so looking forward to seeing how the story goes. And yeah, and continuing the series because I just bought Winter from Barnes and Noble, so now I have all four books so I can just read them straight through one after the other. So the next one is Inkart. This one is actually a translated book. It's originally in German and it is a part of a trilogy. And I'm at the beginning, I can see where if you like something like Harry Potter, you might like this. It didn't grab me in the same way at the beginning like Harry Potter would. I mean, the characters aren't bad. And like I said, I'm still at the beginning, so I really can't judge. However, part of me just doesn't see this becoming as loved by me as that series is. But I could be wrong. Maybe it's because, like I said, I'm at the beginning and there isn't as many characters, there isn't as much going on, but we will have to see. Still, it's entertaining. So, coming up on the next book is The Elegance of the Hedgehog. Now, this one here is actually translated from French. And it is told in a dual perspective um, between a concierge and a girl who is 12 going on 13, I believe. I cannot remember the name. Oh, the little girl's name is Paloma, I think? But I honestly can't remember the woman's name. Oh, that's going to bother me now because I just started this book too. And this is basically literary fiction, I guess you would say. Or like adult contemporary. And it's good so far, but different when I, than what I normally read. Next, I am almost done with Paper Towns. Now, I am liking this a whole lot more than Looking for Alaska. And that may just be because I like the characters more. Although, I don't get... Um, Q's obsession with Margo. At least it was a little bit more to Alaska. But morality wise, I like this story better. Um, I, I haven't decided yet if I like this better than An Abundance of Catherine's. Both, you know, involve guys and girls and relationships and what not. It's entertaining. It's a little bit more lighter than uh, Turtles All the Way Down or Looking for Alaska. But, yeah, I haven't decided where it ranks on my, you know, John Green list here. Then, the final one I'm going to talk about right now is, an actu is actually a reread, and that is... For Mockingjay, I'm, I still love this book. I know a lot of people don't, but this is, the se this is only the second time reading this one. I'm reading it through audio. I read the first book four times 
the second one like three and a half. Um, so yeah, it's fun to go back to this one because this one has a lot of serious stuff in it and it's really powerful in a lot of ways and just great character development. So another thing I want to talk about is pretty soon I want to try out the whole live thing. It'll just kind of be like a test thing maybe for like a wrap up. So anyways, thanks for watching guys.